Hello there, and welcome to the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. My name is Miss Marion, and I am an educator here at LASM. Our education team would love to give you a peek into our museum and some of the fun exhibits and STEAM-focused activities that we have to offer. First is Miss Haley in our kids' lab. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Haley, and I am an educator at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. Here, I have a piece of scientific equipment called a flume, which helps us take a look at how water moves. This amazing flume is an important part of our free River Dynamics Experience program that is generously sponsored by the Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority. Inside, we have flowing water and little pieces of plastic which represent sediment. Sediment is made up of particles such as those found in sand and rocks and mud like I have here in this tube. Let's take a look at this water and sediment. What do you observe? Is the water moving quickly or slowly? This toy can help us observe. The water is moving rather slowly. What will happen if we allow the water to flow faster? Let's observe. Our sediment is washing away. What can cause it to go away? Can this little toy help explain? The water is moving so fast and the water picked up the sediment and washed it away. Fast moving water has been known to move boulders bigger than cars. Now, let's give our little friend a break and visit with Miss Chandra in one of our art galleries. Hello, my name is Miss Chandra and I'm also an educator here at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. Did you know that artists sometimes use science in their art? Capital City Contemporary Five is a collection of paintings, drawings, photographs, and other artworks that spotlight local artists across Louisiana who are still living and working today. And the theme for this year's installation is water. In Louisiana, possibly more than anywhere else in the continental United States, water dictates life. Wetlands, bayous, rivers, gulfs, living so closely connected to water brings many benefits. However, water also poses risk, like Southern Louisiana experienced during the historic flood of 2016. This collection of Louisiana artists demonstrates the unique matter in which water reflects and changes in its surroundings and emotive qualities it possesses. Come visit us downtown at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum to see these beautiful pieces in person, as well as the rest of our exhibits we have at our museum. Now, here is NASA Ambassador, Miss Linda. Hello, my name is Miss Linda, and like Miss Chandra said, I'm a Solar System Ambassador for NASA. That's right, NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. As a space enthusiast, one of my favorite things to talk about is the moon. The moon is beautiful to look at in the nighttime sky, but did you know that it also affects our oceans? The moon's gravitational pull causes both high tides and low tides, which results in waves of many different sizes. But what is a wave? Waves occur when the surface of a body of water is disturbed. One extreme example is when earthquakes cause a tsunami. Now, we won't be making a tsunami today, but we will be investigating waves using our wave machine. You can make your own by following the steps in the attached PDF. Make sure you have 89 craft sticks, white glue, a ruler, strong thread, and scissors. Now let's investigate. To observe a wave, we must know a few key words to describe waves. The highest part of a wave is called a crest. The lowest part of a wave is called a trough. 
Wave height is the vertical distance up and down between a crest and a trough. Wave length is the horizontal distance between two adjacent crests or two adjacent troughs. Our last characteristic to observe is frequency. Frequency tells us how many wave crests pass a specific point in one second. Now, let's experiment. I'm going to tap one end of the wave machine and think about what might happen. Okay. I'm going to tap both ends at the same time. Okay, now back to Miss Marion. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you visit us at the museum very soon. Be sure to check out our social media for updates and information, and don't forget to check out our virtual learning platform, virtual-lasm.org, for more videos and activities just like this one. Bye, friends.